James Braga here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little microphone and video test from three different web cameras. Uh, the main one we're testing is the eMeet Nova. This is a 1080p by 30 frames per second web camera. That is the bottom one you see right here at the very bottom. Um, as you can see, you, this is the microphone going right now. You see it, you hear it. Um, the coloration of this is not bad. If you look down, it's pretty bright. This is a pure plug and play web camera, so there's no adjustments, no settings, nothing like that. Uh, the next one that way is the Blitzwolf BW CC1. I'm going to actually switch over the microphone. Okay, now I'm on the microphone for the Blitzwolf BW CC1. As you can see, it's a lot higher, a lot echoier. Um, to me, the the sound quality is not that great. Um, if you guys look also up there, the coloration is a little bit off. Um, the zoom in and out isn't perfect. It's just not, you know, perfect. Now I'm going to switch over one more time to another microphone. This is the Logitech, that way, Logitech C922X Pro. This is a higher end, more expensive web camera. Now, the reason why it looks dark like it is, is for a reason. I have it set up for my streaming, you know, pretty much just as a uh, webcam uh, test. But I can show you why it looks like it's dark if I add the thing back, because I'm actually using excess split with that. I'm going to leave that there. That way you guys know the Logitech from the others. The excess split, that is why it looks the coloration it does because I have it set up that way. The Logitech actually has a software download. It, uh, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff in the Logitech G Hub, which is pretty good. Now, I'm going to switch back to another microphone. This microphone is my Blue Yeti Pro. I will be doing the rest of the video on the Blue Yeti Pro. Um, just so you guys have the difference of all four microphones, you know, compared to, you know, the one down here, that is the E-Meet. That is the main one I'm really testing. The coloration, you know, the, the color, it's a little whitewashed, but it looks good. The Blitzwolf, unfortunately, to me, it's just, it's not as great. Um, this one, the E-Meet Nova, is under $50, so it's not bad for a plug-and-play web camera. The sound quality works. The coloration, the video quality it looks pretty good. Um, I will be testing this um, on some streams, so you guys will see that on streams. Um, I will probably even flash a picture, eh, probably that way or that way. You guys will see all three web cameras sitting side by side in the video, so you guys can see those cameras all lined up, size difference and all that. Um, the Logitech, awesome camera. I love it. Um, like I said, I have it adjusted down darker because of the background. I use a whole bunch of other stuff with it. So that's the way I adjust it. The Blitzwolf, it's, to me, it's dark. It's fuzzy. It's grainy. Um, and the sound quality just isn't there. The Emi, not bad. You know, for a under $50 camera, plug and play, uh, it, it would be perfect for anybody that needs to just quick throw it into stream, um, you know, online classes with everybody doing online learning or just Zoom meetings with your, you know, members at work. Uh, not a bad camera, under fifty dollars. You can't, you can't, can't complain. Okay, like the beginning of the, the video said with the little box, the sound was off, so stick around for the end of the video to see the true test of the Emi microphone and camera by itself. As you guys can see. The sound quality is perfect. It's, it's, it's on par for a good microphone for a plug and play, and it actually works. The, the problem I notice is, is if I connected more than two web cameras at once, it conflicted with the EMI Nova and made the sound, you know, not match the video. And no matter what I could do, I couldn't figure it out. So I went and did this little in clip test so you guys can actually see you know that the microphone actually matches the video and it's not actually offset it's actually a conflict of more than one plug and play video cam web camera doing that so I'm not sure if it's the, because of the Blitzwolf uh, because the Blitzwolf is a plug and play or if it's because of all three my my presumption is it's all because all three were on and I was trying to use all three through Streamlabs to record that side-by-side -side video 
So hopefully this gives you a little better, uh, you know, no, uh, better look at the Emi Nova and realize that the Emi Nova actually isn't an issue. It is my recording software that did it. So hopefully you guys understand and um, you don't realize that it's actually not a bad camera for the price. And I hope you guys stick around and, you know, watch some other videos that we have coming out. And uh, have a good one, guys.